Yo guys, what's going on? Thanks for coming back to another episode of Aura Audio, where we do all sorts of stuff related to music and technology. Today, we're not going to be doing music. We're going to be doing something a little bit different. And yes, we're going to be doing this subject of ROM hacking, which is basically taking some games and kind of making them customized to our liking. And what we're going to be doing with that is modifying the graphics of a Game Boy Advance game. Now, this is actually a funny story how I got introduced to this, because I'm not a graphics person myself, but one of my viewers, um, I'll put their name right here, commented on my video asking me how they would go about modifying the graphics in this game. And so, well, I started learning how to do what they said, and they probably know more than I do, because I don't do a lot of graphics, and it seems like they have been, but... We're just gonna try some stuff out anyway, because I think it's a cool video. Let's get started. Alrighty, so first thing you wanna do is, if you want to read, here's some optional reading about the Game Boy Advance. Just a little bit background on the graphics information, which can get very technical, but it is some important stuff that will help you understand how the graphics work. And yes, I will link all of these sites in the description below. And here you can download a Game Boy Advance emulator, which I'm gonna be using in this video. And then here is the program we're gonna be using to do the ROM hacking. And funnily, it is called Tile Molester. I seriously don't know who came up with this idea, but I wanna meet that person. <laughs> and here's just a website we're gonna be using a little bit later, so that will come into play. But without further ado, Let's go to our game, which I have open up in Open Emu. This can really be any game you want. Um, but today I'm going to be using this game because this is what the viewer suggested. So here I want to find these images. How am I going to do that? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do in our tile molester. <laughs> also, make sure you have your Java working because this uses Java. So I'm running 0.16. So. If you do the same, hopefully that will work. All right, so this is what it looks like. Pretty neat. Um, this just disappears after a while. And yeah, now we're gonna click this folder. That's gonna go to our location where we download the ROM. And yep, there it is. All right, so what we're doing now is we're basically looking at a file. And this program is going to guess what different binary values are in that file that are going to map out to graphics, right? So this is this is not graphics, obviously. This is a bunch of junk in the game that is not related to graphics. It looks horrible when you look at it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is make sure your codec is the right one. So for this game, I'm using 4 BPP linear reverse order. And again, some of that background reading I mentioned in the beginning will help with this. So that's the codec we're going to be using. We shouldn't be using anything else. And then we're going to click this plus icon here just to make it full screen. Now these right here, these will help increase the width or decrease it. So I always like to increase mine by going to 32. And that kind of helps me see things a little bit better. Now I'm going to do a little cheating because I kind of know where these things are located, uh, but you won't, so it's obviously going to take you longer, and you just got to deal with it and find it. I know, it's annoying, it's a pain, but the best way you get better at this is by actually doing it. Like, that's really the only way. So, so say I'm looking through the file, and then, oh, here we go. We're starting to get into some familiar t territory, and... Oh, this is looking something like what I thought it was going to be. So let's go ahead and have a look. So first of all, you'll notice it's pretty messed up. So what we can do is you'll notice there's these fine pixel details that are just out of place. So we can do the bite back. And wow, everything looks awesome now. So now what we need to do is we need to get the right colors because these are not the right colors. You'll notice these uh, squares sometimes that are just completely random. They look like they don't fit. And those, if they come right before or right after these graphics, those usually 
are the palettes. Not always, but they usually are. Now, finding these palettes are the trickiest part, but those are what determine the color of all of this. So it's important that we find those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this palette here, and I'm just going to make sure it's in the upper left-hand corner. So right exactly there, top notch. If it's like this, it won't work. If it's like this, it won't work. We got to have it exactly in the corner. All right. And now here's where this comes into play. So we're going to go to the hexadecimal to decimal converter. So this is a hexadecimal number. And we're just going to type that in right here. So you can see I already did. And we click convert. And that's going to give us a decimal number. And then we can go to this palette tab. And we're going to do import from this file. Now, I don't know what operating system you're using, but mine scrunches up these text boxes and it doesn't look nice. You could still use them, but it's just not very friendly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this and it should turn slightly blue, hopefully. And you'll see when I press backspace, it doesn't let me type. So we have to type numbers in here. Just make sure it's selected and then paste the number in. And then right here, I'll select this one too, and I'm gonna type in 9999 for the size. And that's just gonna give us a lot of room to kind of browse. We should have it on the first try though. And then finally, we have this. It's going to be set at 15 BPP for the Game Boy Advance. Again, doing some of that background reading is really gonna help you out. So let's go ahead and click OK. And wow, everything just changed and the colors are looking pretty nice. So let's go ahead and sometimes I like to just kind of get our view in frame here. So now we have all pretty much these graphics and then we're just gonna do that. And voila, we have everything now. So let's go ahead and compare the difference. All right, let's open our game. Okay, so this is looking pretty exact. I mean, of course there's this background here, but yeah, everything's looking pretty solid to me. Uh, so I would call that a success. Now, here's something else that may happen, which is frustrating. Believe me, I've spent hours using this program, and it's just frustrating sometimes. But you might think, oh, maybe this is the palette right here. Let's say we didn't know what the palette was. So you might think, oh, this is the palette. I'm going to type that in to my decimal. I'm going to do 0, 1, 4, 5, 8, nine five and then eight okay and i'm going to copy that i'm going to put it into my palette this file just reset that one and yeah it kind of looks right but it's not right right it's not exactly there and this is kind of like an alternate palette that is just not what we want um but let's say we even screwed it up even more uh let's say we did this one because we thought that was the palette See, it gets really messed up here. And this is the most frustrating part for me, at least, that took me hours to figure it out. Hopefully it will take you hours too. If not, then you're just super talented, which is also a good thing. I mean, it's always good to be talented. But yeah, you can see these aren't really screwing it up, but what happens if we like do this? Um, like, yeah, that doesn't look good, right? So you gotta make sure you have the right palette. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to do was kind of help you guys find some graphics. Let's do one more, all right? Let's do one more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reset this and we're gonna do one. Um, I'm gonna open up another game. Let's do Super Mario Advance. All right, and I'm gonna get my canvas set up. Do the good old 32 to start out. You can always adjust it back to make the images fit, but I always like to start out that way. All right, okay, this is looking like something. So I'm gonna do my bit shift, Just kind of clean it up. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now let's see, are the palettes right after or are they right before? Let's see. So first I'm gonna try doing one right after. So it should be like around here. See, we got a palette right there. So let's go down here. Let's say that's where we begin. Let's try it out. All right, 000, zero, zero FC11C. Right, copy that. 
and then we go to palette import from this file right so yeah it's kind of looking like it again it's hard to tell without the game um, but yeah sometimes these can get pretty weird and that's just kind of the way it is but yeah have some practice with it and hopefully in the next episode we'll actually be starting the process of kind of editing these graphics and you know playing them on the actual console to see what our new graphics look like I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.